Hey guys, thought I'd do a channel update here. I don't usually show my smiling mug on my videos. Uh, not that I'm embarrassed about it. I have reached that if you don't like it, you can kiss my butt kind of age. And I really, really do like that age. <laughs> it allows you to dress as bad as you want to and go wherever you want to and do whatever you want to and look as horrible as you want to with the realization that if it bothers anybody, you don't care. In any case, uh, to keep, give you a quick update on what I'm doing, uh, you haven't seen as many videos from me lately, only because I'm living in major devastation. I'm keeping this camera as high as possible, not to show all the crap I've got laying around, but I've got less than I started with a few weeks ago. I am unloading crap by the bus loads, attempting to get out of this apartment. It's a pretty nice apartment, but it's not really, really even close to the amount of money it's costing me. So if you've been watching my last few videos, you've been watching a, a mental and lifestyle shift for me. Never thought I would be something called a minimalist. Uh, I think instead of minimalist, I'll call it getting rid of crap I don't need. And God, it's just the amazing, the amount of junk around here. I just really, really, really don't need. And I really need to make my life a lot simpler. The only thing I've really got some attachment to are a few pictures on my wall of my, of my late and great parents and my great grandparents, the flag from my, from my dad's, uh, from my dad's coffin when he was, uh, when he made his, uh, he made his final little journey. Uh, hopefully the next journey will be to, to see the big man in the clouds because he was a great man. Uh, other than that, I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. I'm getting rid of paper books, at least the majority of them. I just, I love books. I still do. I just like the look of them, but it's just too much space for my future limited area. Uh, my, my original destination, other than the great beyond, is going to be a a tiny home and I'm just going to make a little break with this junk and do a little conversion to an even tinier place so I will be upgrading when I get my tiny house in the next couple of years uh, hopefully retirement is over the uh, is not too far away from me uh, assuming uh, <laughs> assuming that you assuming in this country that you don't get laid off or that uh, you're uh, you're uh, retirement survives any potential corporate changes who knows but i figure the smaller my life is the less problem or less trouble i'll see with uh, an uncertain future so you've seen a little bit about that uh i have not given up detecting i have scaled down i just don't have the room i, I will not have the room i used to have the dais doesn't require any room uh i also uh i have another uh collapsible uh detector so that is not going to be a big issue uh, with space uh, I would still love to get some of the larger detectors but it might be a while so the detecting will continue I've just now began to feel like a human because uh, we've had a cold snap or two in Texas though it's 70 out there now and I think it did finally kill off the last vestiges of what was causing me to have uh, my severe allergy problems that had been plaguing me all year for the first time in my life. Uh, not the first time my life had allergies, the first time in my life it's been this severe. In any case, I uh, just want to give you a quick rundown. Uh, I still have some equipment that I'm going to be doing reviews on uh, that, that's going to be going with me. Uh, uh, and you're going to be seeing that. I've got a lot of stuff I really need to do reviews on, but like I said, I just don't have a clean enough space to do it in because I am basically tearing everything out of this apartment and getting out of this ridiculous rent. I won't tell you what it is, but it's way, way, way more than it should be. In any case, uh, I just want to give you a quick rundown and let you know what's happening. The only thing that's going to survive this is probably going to be my tools. I'm going to put those in storage because you never know when you're going to need tools. Uh, and, and if you're going to do any type of independent lifestyle, a little tool storage would not be a bad thing to do. So I'm not going completely, uh, completely off of the minimalist uh, bridge, but we'll see. 
you know, a, a tool or two can save you tens of thousands of dollars or at least thousands of dollars. Uh, so, uh, you know, according to what skill you have. In any case, I will talk to you later and uh, you have a wonderful day and there will be another video. Uh, hopefully I will make it today and I'm going to pick up the pace as my life begins to return to sanity.